Hi, my name is Carlo and I will show you today um, in this first Terragon tutorial how to make a walking figure in a 3D environment. And we will use uh, the Posa uh, 2010 Pro version. We will use the uh, Posa Fusion plugin for importing that into Cinema 4D. And we will use Cinema 4D, of course. And we will use as a figure uh, Das 3D Victoria 4. So we will start uh, now. You can see I have opened Posa Pro and we have a normal figure here. Then we can jump into the library, get uh, figure loaded. I think I will use the standard figure without any additions. Then we will give um, give Victoria some morphs. We will give her the base morphs. I don't know if you need the morphs, but... Um, and we have the elite morphs. Um, but for the walk designer maybe it's helpful, but I don't know that. So the morphs plus plus. So this figure is fully morphable, and the first thing we will do is to create, uh, we have to select here the figure, and we go into the figure menu and create a walk path. Wait a second, figure menu, create walk path. And then we will switch to the top cam, because in the top cam you can see how the walk paths will look like and you have here some points that you can move around and the figure will walk around these points and now I will try to make a round curve. So the first and the last point are um, just orientating. Uh, the figure will walk from here but will the figure will start to walk here, but will be in the direction as if it comes from here. So it will move here, 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 go around, and then go around a bit here. And the end point will be the same as the starting point. Okay, so she will walk around here, and maybe later in cinema we can put some objects here where our figure will walk around. And that's all we have to do to create a walk path. And I think at this time it's pass 1. We can give it a different name, but I will leave it like that. And the second thing is, we have to tell Poser that the figure has to go there. And we have the window, the walk designer here. And the walk designer reload and will tell the figure um, how to walk. You will see it here and you can s uh, change the uh, view. It's important uh, for some figures that you check the front view and you will see here that the hands are near to the body and sometimes the hands will go inside the body and that's why I normally put the arms a bit more outside but that depends on your figure. Okay, then you can change the way she walks. You can have a cool walk, then she will move like this. Or you can have a sexy walk, but I don't know if that is really sexy. But I will let the standard walk. That is okay for us. But you can play around here if you like to. Then we can click apply and we apply this walk to Andy and we choose here the pass. We have only one pass created so it's the only one that is available and we have to click on follow path um, that she will not walk on the place but will follow the pass. Um, align head to means that the figure will turn his head or her head uh, all the way here so if you click on end of path, 
the end of pass is here, so the head will always look in this direction here while she walks around. But if she walks here, if she looks here, she maybe she will fall because she can't look on the ground. And that's why I check uh, next sharp turn or maybe one step ahead. That's better. So she will uh, look uh, where she goes. Always complete last step. Normally that will not function very well, but we will see. That means that the last step has to be completed in this animation. And this can be standard. And we have to see, or we will see that um, the frames are automatically generated here, or that poser tells you how many frames he will need for this animation. So he will, we will start at 1 and end at 404 and we will create keyframes in an animation layer. Maybe you know about the layers in Posa. OK, so we check OK. We click OK. And wait a second. Wait a second. OK, so we will see here. We can close everything now. And we can see here, okay, our figure is um, has turned because she comes from here and has to walk here. She turns in the right direction. We have 404 frames and we can check to play this. Okay, and we will see, wow, the figure will walk on the pass. Good. That was um, the first thing you have to do in Poser. Now we want to now we want to save that and import it into Cinema 4D. We can say save as, and I uh, prepared the walk past tutorial file already, so this file will be saved here. This is the same file now, but saving takes some time on my computer, so I did it before. And we are nearly done, and we can open Cinema 4D now and if you have a regular document you can see on the top uh, the plugins and if you install Posa um, and the Posa Fusion plugin you will see here Posa object and you can click that and a Posa object will be created here and we have to load a Posa figure and we have the walk past tutorial Posa file that we just saved open that wait a second and here it is ah it has no skin so we have to click on create materials it will the load it will load the materials automatically from the poser file so we don't have to worry about that and now it looks quite good yes there she is and um we can see in the poser plugin if we scroll down a bit poser start frame is 0 and poser a number of poser frames are 404 like in our poser document so i will change the timeline here to 404 and will make this and then we will see the whole animation here and if we go a bit away, we can see, ah, okay, the figure has taken the pass. If I just play click, it is too slow for my computer. Okay, we will see the figure will walk around, it will make a cycle, circle. And now we can switch to the top view, and we will see here our figure. And she walks around um, that area here, where we can place, for example, a box. Bop, place it there. Walk around. We can place the make the box bigger and place it more like here. Okay, perfect. So if we see it in 3D, we have our 
configure animation here and it will walk right around this box. Put it up. Then we will make a floor object and we can make a new material for the floor object. I think uh, you know the basics of uh, Cinema 4D and so you will have no problems with uh, this part. We can... okay, just leave it like this. Make oh no, that looks a bit gay. I will change it to blue. <laughs> so if we click fast render, we will see... ah, okay. That's it. And in Cinema 4D we can place lights and if we place lights the whole scene will look a bit more beautiful. So I will place this light here on the on top. And maybe it looks a bit better if we put a shadow. Okay, so now you can see we have created a small scene with a box and our figure that walks around this box and we will see okay it looks um it looks okay with all the shadows good and um that's all we have to do for creating our animation and now the last thing we have to do is render <coughs> we go to our render settings i will render in a smaller resolution like um DV widescreen, change to square pixels. And you will take uh, all pictures that she will render the whole animation. And we will save. Put the pass here, um, change to QuickTime movie, for example, make this here. Okay, now we have our render rendering prepared. Still looks quite good. And um, save the project. Okay, now I will start uh, rendering and we will be back if we will be back when the whole scene is rendered. So this is the rendering process. Will take some time. So see you later. By the way, the rendering process can take several hours or maybe days, <laughs> depending on the complexity of your scene, so maybe you will <coughs> render overnight. Okay, now the rendering process is done. We can close our render window mm, and we can pop up the Explorer and we will see, okay, our new movie file is generated. And when we click on that, it looks quite nice for a first test. Ah, she walks out of the window. <laughs> Next time I have to realize that. Okay, she walks around. Bark, bark, bark. Yes, and that's all we have to do in the first step. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you can make your own animations now. So, see you later.